picture my face Just clock what I spray a few years ever on top of the game It's not a debate, you look at the same and us niggas are so different to rotten Massive thank you to Let's Play Footy for allowing me to upload this to their channel. Hello guys, it is Will here, and as always, you guys will know me as Petty Shrikes. Anyway, right, the video today is a Team of the Season Jerome Boateng review, and as you can see on the screen now, he has 81 pace, which I was incredibly excited about, 87 defence, and 88 heading, so, you know, we're all set up to have a really, really good card. This is the uh, the side I played him in, 3-5-2. Pretty pacey um, Bundesliga side. He was by far the most expensive player um, in the team. He cost me around 270 grand, and his average prices are now around 180 to 175. So that's a bit of a gut for me. But anyway, this is his in-game stats at the moment. As you can see, actually, what really stands out is his passing. I mean, he's got really good heading accuracy, long passes. His long shot was good, and he does have 99 shot power. He has the really good stats. So four star week for three star skills. He's six foot four and he has medium medium work rate, which I quite, I quite like in a centre back. You you'd ideally want your high defensive and your low attack, and especially in three five two because you don't want to get caught out of the position. But this was quite surprising for eighty one pace. He only has seventy four acceleration and seventy one agility, and you know, that was you know I was like well. That bollocks is that 81 pace. I was I was really quite disappointed. And it does show in the gameplay. He does not feel like 81 pace at all. So anyway, I'll move on to some gameplay. He's heading. Cannot criticise it. Is absolutely spot on. And as you saw before, his standing tackle. These are just quite a few clips of this. If he's standing tackling, he's heading are really quite good. I mean, he does. He never really got done with his skill moves. And um, it's his pace. I mean, he's normal card. I think his pace. I know this sounds stupid, and it's obviously not true, but his normal card felt just as fast, if not quicker, than this card. I mean, this card, as you see there, that was just, you know, if you played with Jerome Boateng, that, Boateng, that'll be normal. I mean, his strength does seem massively increased, and I gave away a penalty there, but as you got, like, some, like, 97 strength on this new card, and you can really feel it. But this is a funny one, actually. This he actually feels like a team of the season player because of his passing and I don't know going forward ability. He saw there I want a miniature skill run with him there and he finds Blaszkowski over the top who manages you know, he manages to get a goal from his passing ability. And look at this. That's like a fantastic curved pass with the outside of the boot. I mean you don't expect that from a centre back, so it's really strange. He's good at the things you wouldn't expect him to be good at, but you see here, he got completely burned by Defoe, and I don't, I, I'm, you know, I've used his normal card, and that never seemed to happen, so he's good at the things you don't really want him to be good at, but I find he's seriously lacking, and especially in pace for an 81 pace centre back, you think, there, I was tracking that run, I was running back, and he still got burned, so, you know, and here anyway, this is a comparison, so you're playing 270k, well, I pay 270k for uh, Boateng, and then watch Felipe Santana, Felipe Santana pulls back the team of the season lens. He lens was run with the ball admittedly, but he still catches up to this insanely quick player. So I think I mean why spend two hundred and seventy grand on a player which you can buy a better one for two, three. So anyway, that is the um finish of this episode. I seriously really do not recommend you buying um Boateng at all. So yeah, anyway, thank you very much for your time and uh, tuning in to watch